In today's short video, we're going to take a quick look at this interesting piece of vintage test equipment, the Fluke Model 881A Differential Voltmeter. If you saw my appearance on the Dinosaur Den with Bill Hurd a few months ago, uh, you already got a glimpse of this piece of equipment. The 881A was produced in the early to mid-60s, making it just a little over 50 years old. It gives you the ability of measuring DC voltage to an accuracy of about 0.01 percent. At least that, that's what the specification was. It also gives you the ability of using it as a megometer for measuring very high resistance. But the primary reason for using it was to measure DC voltage very accurately. The basic theory of operation was pretty simple. There was an internal uh, precision 11 volt reference that was developed uh, within this block here that provides voltage to one side of a differential voltmeter and then the input signal uh, is applied to the other side of the differential voltmeter. And what you would do is adjust a Kelvin Varley voltage divider uh, such that the voltage on one side of the differential voltmeter matched the unknown voltage you were bringing in from the input. And when that matched, the null meter would read right in the zero. And then you could directly read the voltage that's applied here on the numeric dials of the instrument from the Kelvin Varley divider. If you're looking for more information on this Kelvin Varley divider, I know that David Jones of the EEV blog did a nice video on that quite a while back. And I'll see if I can find uh, that video and put a link to it down in the show notes down below this video. One of the things I think is really cool about this instrument is that it's a, a really nice blend of both mechanical and electronic uh, type operation. Changing the uh, knobs will also change some of the scales that appear on the front panel. Notice as we change the range, the null range indicator uh, rotates here. Also as we change the rain, range, the decimal point moves from one place to another. And of course, rotating the switches in the Kelvin Varley divider also uh, will change the mechanical indicators uh, for the numbers. And there's a vernier down here which you can read kind of for the fine scale. So we'll take a look at how to uh, use this voltmeter to measure uh, DC voltage very accurately, while at the same time measuring the actual voltage on my uh, Fluke 8846A precision voltmeter that's been freshly calibrated. So we can call this uh, almost a, a golden reading here. All right, so we'll start off with a 9-volt battery hooked up to both instruments. And uh, with the meter in the transistorized voltmeter mode, we can start working our way down the range and noting the deflection on the meter. So here we're sitting just under uh, 10 volts as kind of we'd expect. So let's adjust ourselves up to about uh, 9 some odd volts here. So we'll dial the uh, first dial up here to 9 and maybe the next dial up to, oh, maybe uh, uh, let's say about 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Let's go to 0 0.4 and go to our first null position. This now uh, brings our meter scale down to, it's the same uh, 10 volt scale, but we can see we've got a very little deflection here. So we can now easily move ourselves to the next null range. Getting a little more deflection here, and the, since the deflection is negative, that means I've got the divider uh, voltage set up just a little bit high. So let's turn this back down to 3. Now I can see the deflection go the other way. And work our way back up on the next digit to try and get uh, close to 0. And so we went too far there, so we'll back up 1. And now the deflection is very small again, so we can bring ourselves down to the next null position and start working our way up to try and null that out even more. Certainly not a quick or efficient way of measuring voltages, but <laughs> you can see how uh, quickly we can kind of reach a null position here. So we went too far. Let's bring that back. And a little bit of noise in here, but uh, I should say that this instrument is... 50 years old, it's got the original capacitors in it, so it likely uh, needs a recap, so there's probably going to be a little bit of instability in the instrument. But that's pretty darn close to zero. Let's go to our next range here and see if we can zero it out with the, uh, the vernier down here. And that's pretty stable. So we're reading 9.3843, and if we look over here we're seeing 9.38317. So we're only off by, oh, a little, uh, little more than a millivolt at, on a 10 volt scale and that's uh, that's pretty good. So running the about 1.1, 1.12 millivolt uh, delta through the calculator uh, that tells us that uh, we're measuring the that voltage to within uh, 0.0012 percent or so. 
and given that the specification of this was 0.01 percent we're pretty darn close to being in spec even though this instrument probably hasn't been calibrated in 20 or 25 years and it's 50 some odd years old one more very interesting thing about this instrument is that for the 1 volt and 10 volt ranges uh, when you reach a null on the meter the input impedance of the fluke differential voltmeter is infinite because essentially you're matching the same voltage on the other side at the null position so no current essentially flows in the null so there's really no current drawn at all at the inputs. It's only on the 100 and 1000 volt ranges where the input signal goes through a divider that has a 10 meg ohm input impedance. So under those ranges you've got a 10 meg input impedance but on the lower two ranges it's an infinite input impedance at null. Yeah, so as I said, it was just going to be a very short video to introduce you to this Fluke 881A uh, differential voltmeter. And I just find it uh, a really interesting piece of equipment, kind of marrying uh, some mechanical uh, wizardry behind the front panel, as well as, of course, the electronic wizardry inside the instrument to uh, perform differential voltage readings uh, by using an internal precision reference and a Kelvin Varley divider and a null reading voltmeter. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I hope to be back next week with uh, some more uh, fun stuff from the bench. Thanks again for watching.